How to prepare soil without a tiller. Hey everybody, if you don't have a tiller, you want to prepare your land for gardening, you can use a, a round shovel and a hand tiller. You just have to break the dirt up. That's the whole idea. So if you don't have a tiller, you can use these tools. You can set yourself up, get a small plot of land. You can do a one foot by one foot or you can do three by five. You just determine what you need to break up and don't bite off more than you can chew. Just make it reasonable. If you want to plant a squash plant or you want to plant a, 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 a row of corn or something, then you decide and um, don't kill yourself. Without a tiller, um, you can still do this, but you're going to have to remember, just because you have a large area doesn't mean you're going to grow a lot of vegetables. You can actually have a smaller plot and you work it and water it and prepare it and take care of it and you can get a um, a lot of produce from it. So what you're going to do is use the shovel primarily. You're going to dig in there and you're going to flip the dirt over. You're going to turn it over, you're going to chop it up, and that allows oxygen to get to the root of the plants. This soil here is sandy and hard. It compresses, it compacts. There's not a lot of water penetration. So using a shovel on something like this is good. You flip it over and then I pull the shovel back to me, to myself, and I kind of like push it forward. So I'm chopping up the soil nice and fine. You can see how that breaks up really good. You just have to put some elbow grease into it. Now this soil here, like I said, is sandy. And also when you squeeze it, it compacts. So when it gets compacted, it's kind of, it's pretty hard and the water sometimes just runs off of it. Now this hand tiller you can use, you can twist it around, dig, push it down and twist it around and it helps to break up roots. Where if you have maybe rocks or sticks in there, that helps. And you can, this spade, when you get down to a point where you're gonna put the seeds in or you're gonna put the, the transplants in, you can use that and you can use this here to kind of make a hole or, you know, move the dirt around. So what you're going to do is you can make a trench or you can make a hole in your existing dirt. You're going to have to add something. You can use potting soil, which already has slow release fertilizer in it. And it also has its... Uh, the composition is good. It's conducive to growing. It's not too sandy. It's an improvement on the soil I have here. So you can, like I said, make a trench or you can just fill your, your little space up. And what you're gonna do is you're creating the bedding. You're creating the medium in which the uh, vegetables are gonna grow. Your roots are gonna expand and be fed. So you can use a spade you just want to build that up and spread it out so that you're feeding the plant. And this is how you overcome your soil. Uh, you overcome, if you have soil that's, that's not good, that's too sandy, too hard, maybe too much clay. Or maybe, you, like I said, you may just can't break it up because you don't have a tiller. And just add ingredients to your soil to improve it. And this is how you overcome sandy soil without a tiller. Thanks for watching.